I'm Vermont Secretary of State Jim Condos. Thank you for coming to today's audit of the 2022 general election results. The audit is a process that is required by law to take place after every general election. It is one important way that we verify the accuracy and integrity of the tabulation of votes in Vermont. It provides the public with the peace of mind that our official results match the will of the people. In a moment, I will turn today's proceedings over to Elections Director Will Senning, over here, um, to discuss how the process will actually be conducted. Before doing so, I wanted to take a moment to recognize all of the hard work that went into the conduct of the 2022 general election. I've got new progressive glasses, so I'm trying to get used to them. <laughs> um, before doing so, I want to take a moment to recognize all of that hard work uh, by everyone. This election was the first one conducted under Vermont's new universal mailing, uh, ballot mailing law. The process surrounded a ba ballot mailing to over 440,000 active registered voters, and that's no easy or trivial feat. General, our elections team is small but mighty, and they work around the clock to ensure these processes went smoothly and that both our municipal clerks and our Vermont voters had the support they needed for this election to be successful. I want to take a moment to recognize Will Senning, Tammy Sink, is Tammy here yet? Um, Lori Bjornlin, JP Isabel, and Dan Brown. Where's Dan? Um, they, they are the backbone, they are the elections team, the smallest elections team in the country, but they're very mighty. I also want to recognize our town and city clerks who are the hardest working people in municipal government. Over the years, our city and town clerks um, have, as our elections have become increasingly com more complex from technological advances, cybersecurity, early processing of uh, mailed ballots and to ballot curing, they are stay on top of it. Their diligent work keeps the doors to democracy open for voters, and I want to express my most sincere gratitude for all that they do. I also want to thank and recognize every Vermont voter who has helped grow democracy in Vermont by voting, the very basis of our democracy. This year, Vermont voters did set a new record for voter turnout in a midterm election. Furthermore, of the 191,000, almost 192,000 early and absentee ballots cast, only 809 were deemed defective. Of those, 492 were cured by voters under the new law, leaving only 317 defective ballots that were unable to be counted. That is a very, very low defective ballot rate of under 0.25%. Lastly, I want to say that serving as Vermont's chief election of official for the last 12 years have been the greatest honor of my lifetime. Democracy runs in my veins. Having the opportunity to lead Vermont and nationally on the voting rights and our civic processes um, have been an incredible privilege. I will always be proud of the number one national ranking that Vermont elections have in the MIT Election Performance Index. And that goes back to presidential elections now. We managed to hold the highest voter turnout in Vermont history during a pandemic without forcing voters to choose between their health and their right to vote. We have consistently met these challenges to our elections process head on. We work to provide voters with trusted official information in the face of disinformation campaigns, in the face of, uh, that were designed to weaken the confidence of our election system. We defended our election systems from foreign cyber threats. As many of you know, uh, we had uh, seen an intrusion attempt uh, back in August of 2018 by the Russians. And shortly after we informed Department of Homeland Security, they issued within 24 to 36 hours a nationwide alert to all election offices. 
We buck national trends, t trends by working with the legislature to pass and enact laws that make it easier for both voters to exercise their constitutional right um, while also maintaining the integrity of our elections process. I'm proud of the work we've done in our brave little state, and I'm going to turn it over to Will, but before I do, I just want to recognize my deputy, Chris Winters, and our new elections, our new Secretary of State, uh, Sarah Copeland Hansis, and her new deputy, Lauren Hibbert. Um, with that, Will, the floor is yours. Thanks, Jim. And <clears throat> can everybody hear me? And good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, I was going to start with introductions, but Secretary Condos just took care of that nicely. I'll just quickly say I was going to introduce him and the Deputy Secretary Winters, and also Secretary of State elect Sarah Copeland Hansis and her new Deputy Lauren Hibbert, current and soon to be former uh, Director of the Office of Professional Regulation. <clears throat> And my team, Lori, JP, Dan, and Tammy, uh, are the members of the Elections Division staff here today. I'm Will Senning. I'm the Director of Elections in Vermont. I've been here uh, as Director for almost 10 years now in the spring. Um, and helping us conduct the audit today is the team from Clear Ballot, who has been the vendor um, performing our post-election audits since, what, 2016, I think, Ira. Yep. And from Clear Ballot today, we have Ira Mar Margulies and Orion Marchese. Marchese. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Um, I'm just going to really briefly uh, talk a little bit about the process today so that those of you in the room um, understand what you're watching. Um, also, welcome Thomas. I think this is Thomas's third or fourth post-election audit, at least. <laughs> it's more than that. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, we, well, I don't know if I said this yet, we've been conducting these post-election audits since 2006. Um, that's at least as far back in my records as I can find records of audits, and it's approximately the time that um, tabulators, vote tabulators started being used more widely across the state. Uh, since 2006, the audits have very consistently, pretty much with not pretty much, without exception, shown the results as tabulated on election night to be accurate. Um, as with all vote counting processes, we'll, we'll come across slight discrepancies. What's great about uh, these clear ballot audits is the ability to kind of dig into the individual ballots and votes cast and um, see what, what might be causing any differences in tabulation that we might see today. Um, in general, again, they've, they've shown the tabulators used on election night to be extremely accurate, and we expect that to be the case today again. Uh, just a little bit about the process specifically. I want everybody to know we're conducting uh, this audit in accordance with Vermont statute, 17 VSA 2493. A couple of the, a little bit of the language from that statute says the Secretary of State shall conduct a random post-election audit of any polling place election results for a general election within 30 days of the election, which I think we're just within that window. Um, and if the secretary finds that the audit indicates that there was possible fraud in the count or return of votes, he or she shall refer the results to the attorney general for possible prosecution. Like I said, we've been lucky enough to not have to make any such referrals over the years conducting these audits. Um, in accordance with, that, with the statute as well, a administrative rule was adopted regarding post-election audits. Um, I want to say right around 2016 when we started doing the process with clear ballot, I think just in advance of that. Um, and just a few, few provisions from that rule that again will explain some of what you're seeing today. Uh, we're required to randomly select at least six towns. This year and last year we have done seven in fact. Uh, we have six tabulator towns and one hand count town to audit today. Uh, quickly we are going to So I'm just going to quickly read through the comparison of if we find some discrepancies, we can dig into them. Uh, I don't think I need that. So I will read the results from the audit, which is over on the right, and folks can track. Um, that's the official return of vote signed by the election officials in Dover on the left. And so for the first uh, constitutional amendment, proposal two, 
the audit found 565 yes and 67 no, which matches, and 68 blank votes. Um, the audit software reports those as under votes, it's just nomenclature. So that's a match. For proposal five, we have 512 yes and 145 no in the audit, which is a match, and 43 uh, blank votes. So those are both matches. And if Orion can now scroll up to the top of the PDF for page two. Senator. U.S. Senator. And for U.S. Senator, so actually, <laughs> like you said, I really line up more with the ImageCast precincts. These are going to line up exactly candidates. Okay. So we have Mark Coaster with nine in the audit, Natasha Diamond Sonkahoot with 12, Stephen Duke with one, Don Marie Ellis with nine, Chris Erickson with five. Uh, Gerald Malloy with 208, Kerry Rahib with 5, uh, Peter Welch with 440, one write in, one overvote, and nine blank votes. And so the only change there is one less blank vote counted as a write in by the clear ballot software. If we could look at that ballot, that would be great. And my guess, can I guess, is that the oval was filled in with no name, which would have been recorded by the clerk as a blank. Or it was a fictional. Or a fictional or a dead, exactly. So if we go in here and we go to the write ins, no name. Yep, no, no name. name. No name written in, so the clerks record that as a blank vote and it shifts it into the blank column. You want to? No, no, we'll wait. We'll keep going. We don't, all, we don't got all that. Okay. For rep to Congress, from the audit, I see Becca Ballant with 442, Matt Dresbo with 9, Liam Madden 188, Adam Ortiz 6, Eric Redick 32, Luke Talbot 6, one write in, and 16 blanks. No overvotes. That's a exact match. For Governor, Peter Duvall, 8, Kevin Hoyt, 20, Bernie Peters, 7, Phil Scott, 474, Brenda Siegel, 178, uh, 3 write-ins, and 9 blanks, 1 overvote. So we can look at those. The Phil Scott number fills down by 1 on the audit result guessing that his name was written in. So it's like, oh yeah, you're probably going with the write-in, so write-in. Yeah, check that write-in vote again, and I think you're going to see. Oh, well, that was it right there. This isn't over. See so, yeah, how that that's actually a vote for Phil, even though it got recorded as And you guys read it as an over, so that's where your over vote's coming from that we didn't have. Yeah, and, and there's the extra vote for Phil. And the extra vote for yeah. Phil. And then I think there's a write in, there's a little more write in. Yeah, too, right? we have two, he has two, and you guys have three, I believe. And there's a blank right there. And there's your blank right in. Yeah. And were the over votes? The other, the over we votes. We didn't have. Here, so let me pull yeah. that back up. We're 10, exactly. And yeah. they're nine for you guys. That was the, the one we looked at before, right? Yep. Yeah. We have one extra over, which is that Phil Scott vote. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Lining up. Uh, for Lieutenant Governor Joe Benning, 259. Ian Diamondstone, 37. David Zuckerman, 375. We have five write ins from clear ballot and 24 blanks, no overvotes. Those are again going to be probably two blank write-ins, I guess, or that are fictitious. One blank. One blank. And a Donald Duck, which is recorded as a blank, also. Sorry, Donald. Uh, for State Treasurer, H. Brook Page, 224, Mike Pichak, 449, four write-ins, no overvotes, 23 blanks. Should be a blank write-in. 
as we start Donald seeing duck. more of the or a Donald Duck. Yeah, Donald this duck. guy really wanted Donald Duck to serve in some particular office. Auditor of accounts. Oh, did I skip one? I did. Secretary of State, sorry. Sarah Copeland, Hansis, 435, Hbrook, page 234. Two write-ins, uh, no overvotes, and 29 blanks. Who wants to guess? Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Four, Auditor of Accounts, Doug Hoffer, 398. Rick Morton, 265. No write-ins, uh, no overvotes, 37 blanks. That's a match. They didn't think Donald should be auditor. <laughs> Attorney General, Charity Clark, 430. Michael Tagliavia, 231. Four write-ins, no overvotes, 35 undervotes. Bart Simpson. <laughs> Again, you, you guys are following that these are moved to the blank votes, causing the ORV to have one more blank and one less write-in. And that's by state law. Oh, where am I? State Senator, we have Mark Coaster, 33, Wendy Harrison, 373, Nadir Hashim, 299, Rick Kenyon, 162, Rick Morton, 156, Tim Wessel, 126, uh, one write in, no overvotes, 250 blanks. Could you read Kenyon again, please? Rick Kenyon was 162. Thank you. I heard it differently, that's all. So there was a difference, though, wasn't there? Nadir. We had yeah. one more Nadir. Nodder, sorry. And one last right in. Us. So they exit out. Yeah. No problem. Okay, yeah. So remind me, did you guys have one more? Yeah. Yeah. We have one more. Yeah, so they must have removed that one because of the yeah. order of intent. All I see, they're not counting the same. And so we lost. And then there was a difference in writing. Because it was a vote for two. Yeah. didn't fill out the oval, you guys didn't pick it up. Yeah. But the clerks would record that. So for state rep, uh, Laura Sebelia, 503. George Wilson Wardsboro, 162. No write-ins, no overvotes, 35 blanks. That's a match. Probate Judge Jody French, 533, uh, 10 write in, no overvotes, 157 undervotes. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Archie Bonner. Mike. Sounds like Archie was actually given that vote then, because the blank was the other one. Someone wasn't familiar. <laughs> you never know. Maybe there's an Archie bunker out there in what he's doing. But he's not written on here. <clears throat> so, Assistant Judge uh, Lamont Barnett, 259. Sorry. Mildred Berry, 239. Carolyn Partridge, 380. Three write ins. No overvotes, 519 under. Donald 
Donald Duck. Donald Duck. It's probably the same ballot someone wrote in. It is. Duck for everything. The whole the whole way. Yeah. Getting there, state's attorney. Tracy Kelly Shriver, 508, nine write-ins, no overvotes, 183 blank. Two more switched, was that between blank and write-in? Yeah. Okay. And a blank. And a blank. Or Bart. Sheriff. Um, Mark Anderson, 516, seven write ins, no overvotes, 177 blank. So it's going to be the right one Was that two Ronald again? McDonald and Donald Duck. <laughs> Last but not least, Hi, Bailiff. Uh, Angela Lawrence, 506. Six write-ins, no overvotes, 188 blank. That's why we need to change write-in logs. Yeah. Change. 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 Did they read that last time? Okay. Excellent. Um, I should have said before, I'll say now, we're going to um, put together comparative spreadsheets of the audit results and the official return to vote that we'll post on the website following the audit. But that's a very successful run for Dover. Congrats to Andy and his team. Um, we'll close the bag and we'll move on to the next town. All right. Uh, uh, proposal two is a yes. Proposal five is a yes. For U.S. Senator Peter Welch, for Representative Becca Ballot, for Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman, oh, I'm sorry, uh, for Governor Phil Scott, David Zuckerman, for State Treasurer Mike Pichek, for Secretary of State Sarah Copeland Hansis, for Auditor Doug Hopper. Attorney General Charity Clark, for uh, State Senator Tom Chipman, Virginia Lyons, and Keisha Ron Hinsdale, for State Rep uh, Tiffany Bloomley and Gabrielle Stebbins. Uh, probate Judge Greg Lennon, Assistant Judge Suzanne Brown, Connie Ramsey. State's Attorney Sarah George, Dan Gamlin uh, Blank, uh, High Bailiff uh, James Mallon, for Justices of the Peace, uh, Robert Bolliard, and I think that's all I see. Yeah. And this is a the school bond. Uh, for Burlington, yes. So the proposal two is yes. Proposal five is yes. Oh, I see. That. Yeah, it can't. It went in. Yeah. Uh, for U.S. Senator uh, it is Peter Welch. For Rep. Becca Ballant. For Governor Phil Scott. For Lieutenant Governor Zuckerman. Uh, for Secretary of State Kansas, 
can't see the treasurer rate. Oh, the treasurer is above it? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have the actual ballot? Yeah. Is it not showing the back? Well, it's not showing the, uh, the state the, treasurer. There's one race up here that's folded over. You can see state treasurer just above the fold. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's what folded mm -hmm. over itself. It's such a short race. That yeah. So were the ballots put away with the target yeah. cards on top? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so the target cards were pulled out before they were put back in the, in the yeah. box? Let's make note of the fact that we couldn't read the state treasurer race on this ballot, and it'll be yeah. off by okay. one. All right, so for, you got Kansas? So for Secretary of State. Kansas? Yeah. For Auditor of Accounts, Hoffer. Yeah. Attorney General, Charity Clark. State Senator, Chittenden, Lyons, and Hinsdale. State Rep, Bloomley and Stebbins. Uh, probate Judge Greg Lennon, Assistant Judge Brown and Ramsey, State's Attorney George, Sheriff Gamlin, uh, High Bailiff uh, Mallon. For Justices of the Peace, you ready? Yep. <laughs> Alsop, Bergman, Baricious, Gina. Co. Franz. Gerlach. Kausman. Hightower. Uh, Krosny. Uh, Luwak. McGee. And Neubizer. Yeah, there's a few more. Oh. Schneider and Sortino. Squirtino. And the last one. And for the school bond, no. <laughs> That's oh, so we that was a separate ballot. We yeah, can get we rid of that one. Okay. So actually it's gonna be all by one ballot then. Mm -hmm. Not votable. Because the ballot would be using there. It was a solid waste district ballot. Oh, okay. Clicking the same one over and over again. You might be. I'm yeah. just clicking the same one over and over again. Wow. I'm gonna say. No. Okay. I don't know why All it's right. looking. So this is what balance time is this? Sixteen oh six. Ready. I'm ready. Prop two, yes. Prop five, yes. U.S. Senator Peter Welch, Rep. Back Becca Ballot. Governor Phil Scott. Lieutenant Governor Blank. State Treasurer Pichak. Secretary of State Kansas. Blank for Auditor, uh, Attorney General Clark, State Senator Chittenden, Lyons, Hinsdale, State Rep, Bloomley, Stebbins. Probate Judge Glennon, Assistant Judge Brown and Ramsey, State's Attorney George. Sheriff, Gamlin, High Bailiff, Major, Four Justices of the Peace, Aylnick, Bolliard, Baricious, Champagne, Compton, Ellis. You missed Baricious. No, I said Baricious. No, I think oh, I missed Baricious. Missed no, it was me. Well. I missed it. <laughs> Andrew Champagne, too. All right. Um, Compton, uh, Ellis. Okay, Ellis, you got. Yeah. So George, uh, 
Cooper, Kranich, Fell, Lefebvre, Lorber, Lorber, um, Rappaport, Adam Roof, Stone, and Travers. Travers. School bond? No. Okay, and then. You ready? Yep. Prop two, yes. Prop five, yes. For U.S. Senator uh, Patrick Rahib. Uh, for Congress, uh, Matt Drusba. For Lieutenant Governor Betting. You missed Governor. Oh, I'm sorry. Peter Duval. Betting. Uh, Mike Pichek. Kansas. Blank. Blank. Uh, for State Senator Lyons. Blank. Uh, I see nothing but blanks except for. We just scroll down, make sure there's no write ins. Yep. Okay. And a yes vote on the bond. Okay. And is that one that's up there is no ballot? Yeah, the one that's up here is the this one. Right, okay. Oh, do I have to sit? Maybe I have to sit like this. Okay. Now you got it. That's good. Okay. We're all set? Yeah, I'm on the report. It's off. Uh, yeah. Under here? Yeah. It's under on the scan, yes. Cut. Which is most likely what a, a together. Fold, well, a get. folded ballot, and then I think one of those was a local prop ballot. That, and that's why we thought yeah. the number was right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. So it looks like it's actually a call. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Do you have any glasses? <laughs> Do you know how to turn them like that? Okay, right there. It says stage lights off. The bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's the bottom. Yeah, it's the bottom. No, you just do the one that says off. Right, this one said off. Yep. You said bottom off. Okay, Lord. Yeah. They, they didn't have a switch, so they put the promo on. As long as they remember my sandwich. Because <laughs> last time they didn't. <laughs> you should have told me it would make sure. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the total number of votes can be off by one. Two together, right? I mean, most likely yeah, that. If the target crew doesn't have to put away on top of the ballot, yeah, we could have just yeah. rescanned that one batch. Right. Yeah. But because yeah, they got pulled out, we have to rescan everything. Yeah. In about 15 minutes, it will be ready. But could you have identified the batch that they had? Two of us can go. Yes. That was less than a. You've got to make sure you take out yeah. the digital image out of the table. So that, yeah. say, target card 22 was on top of that batch. It names every image 22 dash 1, 22 dash 2. So you can go back and find them. But mm -hmm. once that target card is removed, you don't know where to do that. Yeah. I think that's great. I don't need that, do I? <clears throat> no. So we're going to go through the results from Burlington, Chittenden 13. Um, and we know at the outset here that we scanned one less ballot than was reported on election night. Uh, it may have been a duplicate that was 
grabbed by the machine and not rejected as the vast majority of those are so that we can see, see that. Um, but out of 4,018 ballots, being off by one is not uncommon. Um, and it's pretty good. So we'll, we'll account for that um, with any discrepancies in the totals we read here. For the, so I'll start with the constitutional amendments. For Prop 2 from the audit, we've got yes at 3,666, no at 147, uh, and no over votes, and 204 blank votes. So what uh, we've got, two less yes, two, two more yes. There you go. Could be some light marks. Yeah, that's if you look at the oval density on those last two, see it says 12% oval density. An image cast machine is set to not read anything lower than a 30% oval density. So we picked up the mark where they didn't. That's the two. Yeah. Okay. Right, there are two more yeses. This ballot that has the X on it. This X sure. is just a regular X. So what if I pull this up? So it looks like that's how they did the ballot. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's definitely these two over here. Got it. So for proposal five, well, I used to use we got 3,518 yes, 338 no, uh, no overvotes, and 161 blank. So we counted one extra here. Two of those and those. Yeah. For Senator, on the audit scan, we had Mark Coaster, nine, Natasha Dynastone Kahoot, 23, Stephen Duke, three, Don Ellis, 55, Chris Erickson, eight, Gerald Malloy, 297, uh, Carrie Patrick Rahab, five, Peter Welch, 3,528, uh, 21 write-ins, and one overvote, 67 blank. Oh, we're missing one. That's the one ballot. Yep. Missing, missing ballot accounts for Don Marie Ellis's. Up to Congress. Becca Ballant, 3,377. Uh, Matt Dresba, 67, Liam Madden, 325, Adam Ortiz, 10, Erica Reddick, 114, Luke Talbot, 16, 11 write-ins, three overvotes, uh, 95 blank, uh, 94 blank, excuse me. So the missing ballot was blank for that race, it looks like. For Governor, uh, Peter Duvall, 36, Kevin Hoyt, 10, Ber Bernie Peters, 8, Phil Scott, 2144, Brenda Siegel, 1654, 23 write-ins, 2 overvotes, 140 undervotes. Yep, the missing one is a Phil Scott vote. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Joe Benning, 733, Ian Diamondstone, 97, David Zuckerman, 2852, 49 write-ins, zero overvotes, 286 blanks. Again, looks like that missing ballot contained a Brenda Siegel vote. Or no, excuse me, Zuckerman. State Treasurer, we have H. Brooke Page, 403. Mike Kijek, 3,373, 13 write-ins, 
two overvotes, 226 blank. Missing ballot was for who? Mr. Meechek. Secretary of State, uh, Sarah Copeland Hansis, 3,335. Each per page, 410. 15 write ins, zero overvotes, 257 blanks. Missing a blank from that ballot. Our auditor, Doug Hopper, 3,315. Richard <coughs> Morton, 403. 13 write ins, zero overvotes, 287 blank. Another blank vote from the missing ballot. Uh, for Attorney General Charity Clark, 3,356. Michael Tagliavia, 430. Uh, 13 write ins, zero overvote, 218 blanks. So it looks like we are one over with Tagliavia. So yeah. we'll like um, that was recorded as blank on election night. State Senator. No, who's that? Right. This isn't the right one. This is a different state senator. Uh -oh. Did you guys put the state senator? Up, right? up, no. Up. Up. no, it just. Um, there it is. There. This one. It's just in a weird order. <laughs> No problem. For state senator in the audit, we had Thomas Chittenden, 3,082. Jenny Lyons, 3,065. Keisha Rom Hinsdale, 2,880. Dean Rowland, 446. Rohan St. Marthy, uh, 335. <coughs> what do we have there? 41 write ins, zero overvotes, 2,202 blanks. Two, two extra for Keisha. Most to least confident. Yeah. Basically, so you always kind of look at the order following instructions. You look at the end at the last couple, it's usually in there. Two, two more two blanks, blanks, and that would be 2204. Yes, 
Here she is. And blow up the ballots on those. Yep. So they filled in most other places. It's interesting. Maybe they started, maybe that's how they filled Thought about it and then stopped. I can see them not counting it on election night. Yeah. I can see them counting it too. That's a very interesting mark. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting, unique mark. You yeah. don't see that every day. You want to look at the other one? Yeah. It's almost like they started to fill it. Yeah. And, and then stopped. Like That's that, and then idea. stopped and realized it was not the one they wanted. It's almost like the same thing here. And rest that one's definitely, to me, more clear is definitely uh, the voter intent. Yeah. And, you know, they, they put these through the scanner and then didn't flag them as needing to be reviewed or hand counted. That's what we end up with. So, Thomas, I don't know if you heard um, Ira here say that the, the scanners, the, the tabulators, go to about 30% right. of the shading, whereas this uh, gets even lower. Yeah, we do like 10 or less sometimes. Okay, so, turn this over. the right people yeah. State Raft. State Raft. Uh, Tiff Wumley, 3,083. Tom Licata, 607. Gabrielle Stebbins, 2,863. Is it 35? 35 write-ins. Two overvotes and 1,444 blank. Right. Vote for two, missing one ballot that was blank voted. Yep. Good call. Probate Judge Gregory J. Glennon, 2824. Uh, 28 write ins, one overvote, 1,165 blanks. So it was missing a, the, the missing ballot out of blank vote. Assistant Judge Suzanne Brown, 2,593. Connie Kane Ramsey, 2,561. Uh, 37 write ins, zero overvotes, 2,843 blanks. That's a vote for two also, so it had one for Connie and one blank. Yeah. You reminded me to look at that. State's attorney. State's attorney, we had Sarah George with 2879, 214 write ins, one overvote, and I just lost my place. 923 undervotes. So we have one extra vote that it's probably supposed to be. Yeah, because then it was two different in the blanks. Yeah, so more than two. That's a turn. There you go, right at the bottom. You guys counted that. Yeah. Wow. They filled in the rest pretty well. Filled in the rest pretty well. So that might count for our number was one extra under and then the missing And then the balance. missing balance blank is the other blank. <coughs> for Sheriff uh, Dan Gamlin, 2,661. 61 write-ins, zero overvote, 1,295 blanks, excuse me. <coughs> Some write-ins will have moved to blank for the other way around. Was that Bayless? Yeah. 
chair. Jasowski. Oops. A nice one. Roll Tide, abolish the police, defund the police. I see 10 recorded on this ORB for her. Oh, she's got some of the first columns as well. Yeah, there's quite a few there. I think those, the non-countable names account for the difference that we're looking at. Um, seems like there may have even been more than the difference. I would explain that by their um, two different sets of election officials looking at these at the two different wards who may have been more or less careful about moving those write-in names to blanks. Did anybody write any of those terms in here? Abolish the police on there. There's an abolish the police on here. You're right, Tammy. There's a blank yeah. entry here. I'm not going to take the time to do all the math on those right now. I'm sure that's where it's accounted for. We can tell Sarah to remind her counters that those don't need to be reported like that. Uh, hi, bailiff. Michael Major, 2113, James Mallon, 610, 34 write-ins, one overvote, 1,259 blank. So that's a good clean one where the blank extra ballot. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So that also was a really nice job by the Burlington election officials. I forget which two wards it is, but Chittenden 13 crosses two wards. Um, and we're, we're most likely believe that the missing ballot is a result of a scanning error here today. Nice, I wanted to finish Burlington by noon, and we did. Yeah. Did we get 94 this time? Yep. Nice. Just wash your soap. Yeah. Welcome to the paper. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice having them on the screen. Oh, it's already up there. Okay, sorry. Six years. Six? Yeah. Is it Chris Aaron? Well, you get the lights really yes. down. It's because it's okay. This one's going to be here. Yeah. And it does help. So, thank you. On the first one, do we have yes. an idea why the count was up? Was some from last time. Yeah, some were still stuck stuck in the software. They were stuck in the, there's a folder that it goes to, so the images were just stuck in there. So we we'll just cleared those out and then we just rescan it. Got it. So on our first scan through these Mount Tabor, there were still a few images left over from the Burlington scanning uh, in the folder on the scanners. And so once those images were deleted, we'll, we'll be careful to check those beforehand. For the next towns, um, we ended up with 94 ballots counted for Mount Tabor, which was the ballot number on the ORV. And this is a hand count town. It's a hand count town. And so we'll start going through. For proposal two, there were 71 yes, nine no, uh, no over votes, and 14 blank. Yeah, so these uh, three are the ones we didn't get. So here's a yes. 
balance. Let's take a look at these balance. Yeah, I'll just, check. Just so you guys counted those as blank. Yeah, so we counted a couple. So like these ones that are very heavy, we picked up. We picked yeah. up, but most of these light ones we did not pick up. No. If we want to go through and since this is a hand count, they probably count all these. If you want to go through and we can just put these all in, that might be easier when we're going forward. Yep. Put these ballots in. We've done that in the past. Yeah, so put these, so put these votes in because yep. they probably right. count. Adjudicate them is what you're saying? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way, that way the rest of them will match. We won't have to look yeah, every we'll time. Yeah, we'll have to keep looking every time. So why don't we just go through this? Everybody follow. We're, we're finding how many do you think there are? I think there's three. Three that appear to have all been marked with check marks that won't be read by the clear ballot software. So we're going to put them in before we do our comparisons of the rest of the votes. All right. Yes. Yes. Mark Custer. Matt Druba. Kevin Hoyt. Ian Diamondstone. Brooke Page, Brooke Page, Morton, Taglia Villa, uh, Williams, Gayati, Anderson, Walk, Sullivan, Fox, and Bixby. Yes, yes, Custer, Zuba, Diamond Stone, uh, I'm sorry, Hoyt, <laughs> Diamond Stone, Brooke Page, Brooke Page, Morton, Tagliavia, Williams, Gaiati, Anderson, Walk, Sullivan, Fox, and Bixie. That was identical to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Could have been a hug and a wife. Yeah. And then, so this one, it looks like there was. Just the props. It looks like the props they yep, circled. Yeah, okay. You'll get most of those other marks, you think? If you yeah. Get, yeah, we can actually see what we've got. <laughs> It got all the other votes. Right, just not the first. Just not the props. Yeah. All right. Yes and yes. If they hand counted it, they probably. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly just thumb through to make sure the rest of these got counted. So now, should we just start at the top again? Yeah, let's do that. For proposal two, we have 74 yes, nine no, and uh, 11 blanks, which is an exact match. 
Uh, for proposal five, we have 65 yes, 23 no, and six blanks. Let's take a look at that. One more yes, one less no. One more yes. And that was part five. You read that? Could it have been the manual, one of the manual results? Because uh, they filled in, uh, they filled in all of this. Hand counted, I would have expected that to be counted as a yes, but uh, my uh, assumption here is a missed recording on the tally sheet. Not going to be surprised here that, you know, actual unexplainable single vote discrepancies in a hand counted town or what we've historically found with hand count towns. That's why we say the tabulators are more accurate than hand counts, uh, because just simple recording mistakes on the tally and summary sheets can lead to little discrepancies. So we're missing one. No, but it doesn't look like there. Yeah, it's probably it's, a mistake on the hand count. It was, it was a yes recorded as a no. For what are we doing? U.S. Senator Mark Coaster, two. Natasha Kahoot, zero. Stephen Duke, zero. Don Ellis, one. Chris Erickson, zero. Gerald Malloy, 37. Carrie Rahab, um, sorry, I lost my place, one. Peter Welch, 48. Two write ins. Uh, no overvotes, three blanks. Was that right on? Yeah, that was right on. Uh, for Rep to Congress, Becca Ballin, 37. Matt Drusba, 3. Liam Madden, 38. Adam Ortiz, 2. Erica Reddick, 5. And Luke Talbot, 4. No write ins, no overvotes, five blank. Governor Peter Duval, four. Kevin Hoyt, three. Bernie Peters, zero. Phil Scott, 68. Uh, Brenda Siegel, 18. No write ins, no overvotes, one blank. So switch one less for Siegel and one more for Scott. So yeah. Look pretty good. I am uh, again going to assume that's a tally sheet there. This is why it's good to do a hand count town, also. For Lieutenant Governor Joe Benning, 53. Ian Diamond Stone, 7. David Zuckerman, 26. Uh, two write ins, no overvotes, six blanks. So we ended up with two more Zuckerman and two less Diamond Stone. that up to a reporting error on the tally sheets. So we've had one vote in one of the props, one in the governor, and two there. Yeah. Uh, treasurer, Hagebrook Page, 43. Mike Pichak, 44. No write-in. 
Uh, no overvote, seven blank. For Secretary of State, Sarah Copeland Hansis, 42, H. Brick Page, 47. No write ins, no overvotes, five blanks. Probably the same thing. We can look at those votes if we want. So, two. No. Blanks here, the ones that should be counted. And then we should want less here. Those look like good votes, especially for a hand count. So unfortunately, Sarah, it looks like he beat you by even one more vote than was reported. <laughs> uh, for Attorney General, or Auditor of Accounts, Doug Hoffer, 43, Rick Morton, 42, no write-ins, no overvotes, nine blanks. That one's right. For AG, Charity Clark, 45, Michael Tagliavia, 43, no write-ins, no overvotes, six blanks. State Senator Brian B.C. Collimore, 41. Joshua Ferguson, 24. Bridget Remington, 35. Anna Taddeo, 29. David Weeks Proctor, 42. Terry Williams, 41. Zero write in, zero over vote, 70 blank. We got that one. State Rep, is that the right one? Had it before, it's up above. Did I? There. No. Eighteen, zero write in, zero over votes, two blank. So, so four, let me see, four guy on, and we have an extra five blanks. Ooh. Hmm. Well, and we're missing. You're missing a blank. I assume the four were transposed between yeah, Mike all look fairly clear on that. and Gaiati. Yeah, because all the ovals are like, they look pretty normal. These are all definitely Can you 
click. There's one. Do you see over on the, the right? right? Yeah, on that one. It's just. I think it's just seeing the line. You see right. how? It's just seeing the line from the other from Guyani. Right, because they're a hand count. I think it, it the it first is clear that four got recorded for yeah. uh, what four got extra got recorded for, for Guyani yeah. that were rice votes and, and the other somehow moved to a blank. It's all right. This is a lesson for for the counters to be very careful when you're doing your tally sheets. Anderson, yep. 68 for Anderson, one right in, zero over votes, 25 blanks. Uh, Steve Bernard, senior, 52, Dave Walk, 41, two right ins, uh, zero over, and 93 blanks. You were one one more blank, right? Then yeah, we had one extra blank. Had just, one extra blank. Let's just double check. So we had forty one and three. The sheet said forty two and ninety two. So we had one extra blank and one less for one, but I think all of the again this is a hand count, right? Yep. Somehow a blank got recorded as walk, or, and I'm not going to take the time to do it right now, I, it's potentially if we look through all those blank recorded ballots, there could be a mark outside of, like far from the oval that um, we're not seeing here in the clear ballot screen. I mean, typically somebody will circle a name or, you know, put a big arrow toward a name that you guys might have missed entirely. We want to go back later and look at the blank votes in the system, Judge. Okay, so now we're in we can maybe find it. State's attorney. State's attorney. Ian Sullivan, 60, one right in, no over votes, 33 blank. Sheriff was right. Sheriff David Fox, 67, one right in, uh, zero over votes, and 26 blanks. Another one like the like the previous. Let's take a look. Sure. Well, that one, I think. It's all totally blank down there. Yeah. But we have, we have one extra vote. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Fox. So Is that circle that's outside? It just depends on how they determine the vote. You have one extra vote for Fox and one less blank, right? Right. And that's what I'm saying. In the in the blank votes that you look at there, there may be a marking that we don't see here, outside of this view, that somehow told them that Fox was getting a vote. Well, no, because we, we're counting. So one of these they would have counted as a blank, because we're counting. Clear ballots counting. I see. I see. Sorry. Excuse me. That's right. 
because they have 66 over here. So one of these they counted as a blank. As a blank. For me to recording here. Right. Yep. Either or. And if you look at that one with the circle, the three out graph right there. That? This one? Yeah, all the others were much better filled. You'd think they would count that, though. On a hand mm -hmm. count? You'd yeah. think they would count that on a hand count. I don't know. Maybe not. You I mean, it looks so different from the others. Yeah. But didn't complete it and thought that he didn't complete it fully. That could, yeah, no, it could be. Okay. So if that was moved to a blank, then that comes out right. Yep. Yeah. High bailiff, Jonathan Bixby, 67, two right ends, no overvotes, 25, blank. Okay. I, it looks to me like I'm putting blanks into overvotes on the tally sheet. Yeah, and so we also kind of one more right end. Might look at the right ends. Yeah. Yeah. Four overvotes versus two. I'd look at the old votes too. One was blank, so that's okay. So that would give us one extra funder, which would bring us to. That gives us the right number of write ins, one write in. And then we'd have 26 funders. And then if you just put that four in the two, that would be 26. Yeah. Yep. So. I, those two lines are next to each other on the tally sheets. Yeah. It's the hash marks being put in the wrong place. And that's it. Back to proposals. So I know you've, you've heard it come out of the secretary's mouth a lot of times, but that's another good example that um, there are typically just more mistakes made in filling out the tally, tally and summary sheets, not even in interpreting the ballots. Uh, in the hand count towns that can lead to those errors. That's why we have recounts when races are within the margin. Um, and if they are, candidates have the chance to ask for a recount and go back and uh, get those ballots correctly recorded, I would say, um, during the recount. Now it's lunch. Yes, yeah. everything's out on the table. You're all ready, so we're ready, but I'd let everybody know we, um, there were 12 ballots set out in the bag, marked as rejected. There was a hand count tally on top of them. Um, so we assumed that the hand count had been included in their uh, totals on their ORV, but we've confirmed with both the clerk and then when you look at the tabulator tape that it's clear they uh, both hand tallied those ballots that wouldn't go through at first and then decided to transfer them to tabulator readable ballots, which they're authorized to do under the statute and feed them through the tabulator. <coughs> so we then. Uh, remove those 12 that were set out as the rejected ballots because there were um, remakes of those ballots already included in the main body of ballots in the bag. So our initial, after scanning those rejected ones, they come out in lines. Okay. So 13 ballots right. above. Okay. Yeah, what the target number was on the old one. And we've now backed out 12 of those because we essentially double scanned them. And with that, we have a one ballot discrepancy, right? Yeah, we're one short. One fewer scanned today than uh, reported. So we're going to see that discrepancy as we go through. And for proposal two, we have 1,036. Yes, no was 202. One overvote, 117 blank votes. So the missing ballot was a yes. Looks like otherwise the same. For Prop 5, uh, yes was 825, no was 447, two over votes, 82 under votes. Looks like the missing battle was a yes there also. For U.S. Senator, Mark Costa.
Lister, 9, Natasha Cahoot, 7, Stephen Duke, 10, Don Marie Ellis, 11, Chris Erickson, 6, Gerald Malloy, 463, Carrie Rehev, 5, Peter Welch, 8, 26, uh, 2 write ins, 2 overvote, 15 undervote. Becca Ballant, 691, Matt Dresba, 26, Liam Madden, 463, Adam Ortiz, 16, Eric Redick, 46, Luke Talbot, 72, five write-ins, uh, two overvotes, 35, blank. Another overvote on that. This is Ballant. Governor, we have Peter Ducall, 29, Kevin Boyd, 28, Bernie Peters, 57, Bill Scott, 1003, Brenda Siegel, 210, five write-ins, two overvotes, 22 blank. Give the vote for Scott, so that Scott would be good. No, that's in Peters. Yeah, but this right, but this is counted as an over. Yeah. Got it. So if that counted for Scott, for that, would, that would give Scott the right number of votes. Yeah. Governor, uh, Joe Benning, 711, Diamond Stone, 31, Zuckerman, 567, 7 right in, 0 old vote, 40 blanks. Yeah, I'm still missing an over, but we've got a couple of right ins. This is the old one, just like the right ins went to blank. So, two blanks, two, none of the above. Two none of the above. Siegel, Thatcher. 
you see the little tear right here, there's four. Yeah, one, two, three, they, four. Yeah. So that's, so then that's three right here. Did we have seven, seven, right? One, two, that would be that. four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. And so that'd be good. Yep. Okay. State Treasurer, Brooke Page, 603, Mike Pichak, 701, uh, four write-ins, zero over 48 blank. So, we've got some extra for Pichak. Two, two extra. Second to find it. There it is. 
We had 986 for bus signals, 80, 82 right in, and uh, no over roads, 288 points. So we're missing, missing the whole time. <laughs> One extra vote for ingress. Woody Woodman Page, 1036, 49 right in, zero over votes, 271. So there's two overs here. There's two overs here and none here. So if we go to Woody Page.
balance my right. So we have 49, and there should be 40. So since we're already right, let's just take a look.
Were we one under or one over total balance? We were one under. Oh, so we can be missing. We were missing our right. <coughs> State's Attorney, Jennifer Barrett, 982, 128 right in, three overvotes, 248. So let's look at the right ends first. So we're missing 16 there. Or no, sorry, 12.
so did I. And they didn't count the Trump. I got up to around 18. Yeah. And we were 18. Oh, yeah. So we got 18 too. So. Yeah. So that's it. We're matched. They consistently don't report Trump. <clears throat> so those were pretty good in Newport City, despite a one ballot missing. A bunch of moves from right ins to blanks. And we think some pencil markings were the other culprit for some of the one or two undercounted candidate vote totals. And that was, I'll take the chance to say that was a, a common critique of the clerks and something we're going to work on with the tabulator company.
it might be readily apparent in a lot of cases like this first one. Yeah. Proposal two, we had yes, 893, no, 63, no older votes, 74 under votes. So that is missing six. Yes. Yes votes. For Prop 5, we have 859 yes, 117 two no's, uh, no old votes, 54 blank. So I'm missing one. one no, five yes. Five yes. The six ballots. U.S. Senator Coaster 2. Diamond Stone Coo 4, Duke 5, L7, Harrison 3, Malloy 162, Rahab 2, Welch 826, 2 write ins, no older votes, 17 blank. Yep, so one, five. Five. Okay, candidate votes missing on the ballots on the count of four. Uh, right to Congress, Ballot 775, Dresba 22. Madden 171, Ortiz 6, Reddick 23, Talbot 4, 3 write ins, no older votes, 31 blank. So 5 and 1. Yep. Candidate votes off by the 6 ballots. Uh, Governor Duval 10, Hoyt 14, Peters 3, Scott 691, Siegel 280. Two right in, zero over, 30 blank. So that's four and two, but we also have a right in, an extra right in, so we can look that up. And less a blank, so it's going to be one of those. Yeah. I have to look at all of those now. Governor, we have Benning 322, Diamond Stone 17, Zuckerman 630, three right ins, no over votes, 58 blanks. One, three, and two on that one. There's two blanks missing, but it still adds up. Mm -hmm. Treasurer Brook Page 208, PJ 774. No right in, no over vote, 48 blank. One and five. Okay, that's the six ballots. Secretary of State, Kansas 751, page 208. I lost my place. Two right ins, zero over, 69 blank. Four, one, and one blank. Auditor Hoffer, 753, Morton, 207, no right in, no over vote, 70 blank. Four and two. Four and two. Uh, Clark, uh, excuse me, Attorney General Clark, 754, Tagliavia, 194, one right in, no over vote, 81 blank. Four and two. Four and two. We had B230, Cummings 749, Lefebvre 121, Kirchlip 590, Tucker 156, Watson 631, two right ends, no overvotes, 611 blank. 
This one's a little harder because it's a vote for three. Right. So it'll actually be off by 18. 18, 18 yeah. Um, so two on the first one, four, six, plus four is 10, plus 11, 11, 14, 14, one right and it's 15, and three is 18. Got there. <laughs> Stay right. Mm -hmm. Three Z, three ninety nine, Warren one twenty three, Dolan seven sixty, Tory four ninety nine, seven writings four over votes two hundred sixty eight blank. And that's a vote for two, so we go under twelve. So we have one more right in it looks like. Take a look at that. Donald Duck. Judge Kilgore, 796, five ratings, one over vote, 228 blank. Um, okay, so let's see. Two, two in the candidate. I think we do have some more ratings we need to look at. This one's scary. Four. Sorry, I'm scared. I live in town. So two blank ones. That, two ratings went to blank. That, that works. Back there was an overvoted one, which they may have changed as well. Changed as well. Yeah. Um, that was two. The ratings were of course. So I mean, they may have kept that overvote then. Yeah. You know, it looks like it's made three. three. Is that be four? There's some two. Yep. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Once four, it ends up being four and two once those are four and two. Uh, assistant judge, both two. Batty, 647. Cushing Jr., 181. Uh, Jones, 602. Meyer, 163. No write ins, no overvotes. 467 blank. Four six. plus two is six, plus four is ten, plus two is twelve. Twelve, so that's what we're looking for. State's attorney. State's attorney. Donnelly, 777, five right in, zero over, 248 blank. So we can look at that right in. Just a blank, it looks like. Just a blank. Seven ninety one, four right ends, no over votes, two hundred thirty five blanks. Four two, four two. Bailiff McMahon is seven seventy five, four right ends, no over votes, two hundred fifty one blanks. It's a little yes. dog. Oh, okay, cool. 
Like on TV somewhere or in Waitsville? No, they live in Waitsville. Okay. <laughs> the Los Paris. The famous dog. <laughs> Why did that but famous they live dog. across the street from Jen. <laughs> so Jen would know it's yeah. a dog. So Jen would know it's a dog and mark it as a dog. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Nope. That's it. All right. So I, would ju I just want to point out to people with Waitsfield that so we had a discrepancy of six ballots that uh, so there were six more ballots counted on election night than um, here at the audit. That is something we'll certainly follow up with the clerk about to see if we can nail down um, where those six unaccounted for ballots are. But I'd like to make the point that the, that the, the goal of the audit is to audit the machines and the counting. Uh, this was a tabulator town, so as far as the ballots we could pass through um, the scanners today, it matched the results that were counted on election night on the tabulator, minus the six ballots that are unaccounted for, Thomas. Uh, how many did the checklist record? 1038. Minus? Which is two more than. And so there was a guy that ripped up his ballot, yeah. and then there was a defective. Thank you. And then there was what? A defective. defective. Thank you. And that's accounted for on the ORV, Thomas. And she described the guy getting mad and ripping up his okay. voted ballot. We had a couple instances of that this year when, when they were asked to sign the affidavit. That angered some folks.
You ready, Will? System read this all as votes. It's hard to tell what the image cast would have done, but that is the least confident yes vote. Oh, so let's look at the manually resolve and just make sure that that was done correctly. Yes, yes. Okay, let's move on. Let's also take a look at the no votes. One more no, it looks like they circled a no here. So if we take away one of the yeses uh, that wasn't a large percentage of the oval filled out, and then add this no in. Well, actually, there's two no's that are circled. Well, that's two different props. Two yes. props. We're just looking at prop five. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that would do it. It's, it's hard to say for sure. It's sort of like an exclamation point. Certainly, because they filled in the rest of the old. And there have been several ballots we've looked at today that have done that. The marking on the proposals is different than the markings on yeah. the yeah. offices.
was that again? I'm sorry. Lieutenant yeah. Kenny Gunner. Yeah. And yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, it is not no more. Yeah. State Treasurer, uh, page 326, key check 314, three right and zero over 26 on here. Uh, where are we on this? Secretary of State. Kansas, uh, 296, page 330, right at five, zero over 38 under. G, Attorney General. Uh, auditor. Sorry, Auditor. Offered 317, Morton 307, two right in, zero over 43 blank. So it looks like we picked up one more off for offer. offer. A few blank. Uh, probably a mark Yeah. That one right there looks like maybe it was erased. Or the last one. Or the last one. Yeah. 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 Both uh, 17%. 17%. Yeah. Yeah. So, look at both of them. Yeah, you pick up both of those. Sure. Honestly, I'm still at the ballot. Yeah, the rest yeah, of this ballot does yeah. look like it was filled out correctly. It looks like you might have tried to erase that. Yeah. My money's on that one. Yeah. 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 yeah, these look like they were probably rather than receiving it. Yeah. 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 Just for kicks and goods, how about the X? I right. think this was that same one we looked at before. Yeah. Yeah. We good? Good. AG. Attorney General Clark, 322, Taglia 313, two right ends, no blanks, 30, uh, excuse me, no over us, 32 blank. State Senator Brock 322, McCarthy 241, Norris 376, Halzeski Zuski 122, six right in zero, over about 271 line. Uh, State Rep, Hango 519, LaRoche 397, 12 right in, 0 over votes, 410 like. Also right on. Probate Judge Como, 353, Farrar, 286, 4 right in, 3 over votes, 23 like. We got one less over vote and one more for our. Got into the 
Oh. Yeah, but the the overs were counted on the other side, oh, okay. not ours. So if this had been counted, they would have counted this as an over. Just a little bit of an odd one. Yeah. Um, and then there could have been other markings on the ballot we can't see. Yeah. And then decide it's an over vote. Like this. That's, oh, there's bleed through it. Looks like some bleed. Very obvious one for this. So this is the second page. Go back to the first page. No. Go back to the first page of the ballot. Which ballot? This uh, one. The one that had the bleed. I'm sorry. Oh, the one with the bleed. Let's see that one. This one's kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. Very much. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's interesting. It, it does look like it missed the old holes, all the bleed through. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's what we assure people. Yeah. But why did it go through? They must have used oh, a very heavy yeah. marker. Yeah. Using a sharpie or something. Why bleed through? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Necessarily, let's see this one. No. Now I have to imagine there was something on their hand review that made them think another candidate was marked in that race. Yeah, can you look at the comparison again? The, oh uh, yeah, I'm just sorry, side by side. So one more in each of these and then two over votes. Was there a recount on this one? No. So I'm saying that they're on. It's, like, it's a county office. So we yeah, did there's not only one count it as an over. So we yeah, we did. Yeah, this says the main thing. Hi, it's B12. Right, but it's a county office. So there's other towns that have. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. All okay. right. Just time. End there's of the day here. Yeah. yeah. So, but, so the ballot that we adjudicated. That yeah, we'll have another adjudicated. I don't think we looked at that one. Sure. It's possible that one may have been for. What was this for? State's attorney? What race were we in? Yeah, State's attorney. State's attorney. State's attorney. State's attorney. State's attorney. So it's actually it's blind on this one. one. <laughs> yeah, now. But I don't think they would count that. You know what? Would that have? No, that would have counted. If if our machines had counted it, it would have counted it as a write-in. Yeah, if it was a write-in and a candidate, but you don't know, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's why the, it, it is. Look at that. We do. This that is, is, this is really, a little bit of really sensitive in the write-in box, though. You can see that little marking in the write-in space. If you back up, just the dot, not that yeah. X, could have been read as a write-in. Two over votes, right? Yeah. Maybe some of these I think shouldn't be. I mean, there is a lead through in some of these. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's just a red. More I wonder if those bleeds in the back right hand box by doing that. Yeah, that's what I was White out on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that might have yeah, messed with it. it. It's possible that the Dominion machine read the white out yeah, as white out. an over. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's white another one. Yeah, if, if you combine that with the one with the yeah. error mark, I think that gets us there. Let's do if they have an election official handing out the white out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is obviously a home. This was probably done at home. What the ballot, yeah. yeah. Oh, or that. Right. That does appear to be the only place on this ballot. I bet in the whiteout in that dot uh, we saw. Yep. Yeah, that's just my bet. Yeah. That's, that's probably there. Okay. That's fine. That's where we 
Sheriff. Sheriff, John Grissom, 320. Lightens, 210. No overvotes, 139 blank. So this is going to be quite a few right ins uh, moved to the blank. So they had one more for Grismore, but if there was a right in for Grismore, do they right. add that? Yeah. Uh, do you want to look through the right? It's a lot. Yeah, I know we can find the Grismore in there. It's only 10 that you have to. That lower. <laughs> This one or this one yeah. or this one. Those are all good candidates. Yeah, really that one, the third and last one is like, it looks almost yeah. like this one looks like it was almost erased. Yeah. Oh, that whole ballot is pretty messy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one is particularly bad. Then the right ends. Uh, There's a blank. <laughs> Okay, so that's our last summary of the day. We got the town of Fairhaven, and um, today here at the audit, we ended up, the result of the scan was one less ballot scanned uh, than was counted on election night. We'll have to follow up with the clerk on that as well. But for now, we'll account for that one ballot difference as we look through these results. And we'll start with proposal two, which had Yes, 763, no, 155, one overvote, and 68 undervotes. So the missing ballot had a blank vote. For proposal two, we had 618, yes, 325, no, one overvote, and 43 blanks. 
Well, I mean, one up, one down. Yeah. Look at the blank. So there should be one more. So it looks like one yes got counted as a blank. Yeah, or more missing no. one no, or vice versa. Yep. That's probably a blank yes. Yeah. And they may uh, no, because there was an over bow, right? Yeah. Yep. I think that's correct. Good. So then we're just missing. No. Which is the missing ballot. Right. So one of the yeses looked like it wasn't red and we're missing a no on the blank on the missing ballot. <coughs> Excuse me, rep two or US Senator. Coaster ten. Kahoot 6, Duke 4, Ellis 12, Erickson 4, Malloy 440, Reheb 4, Welch 490, 5 write ins, no blanks, uh, no overvotes, 12 blanks. Just missing a blank, is that it? No, there was 10, 6, 4, 12, 4. A switch here, so they have one more for Malloy and one less for Welch. For Welch. The one less for Welch is probably that. If they get their actual, extra Malloy. I'm not seeing anything obvious, but it may be a missing ballot. Yeah. Maybe the missing ballot. And then was there another one off? In the, um, side by side. One more blank. Well, no, because if, if we took that the one, blank would have been the Malloy. The Malloy smudge. So that just moved oh. from Malloy to blank. So it's just the Welch. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that makes sense. And missing a Welch. Yeah. Yeah. Rep to Congress. Balance yeah. 2, Drew's 11, Madden 423, Ortiz 42, Reddick 55. Talbot 14, two right in, two over vote, 36 under. We can find one more for balance, and I bet you it's that same pencil. Right. Yeah, it's that very light pencil. Very down. light pencil. Uh, that's interesting. We did not count that one. Probably, Probably neither did the Addy vote. Yeah. Or the and that's pretty clear. Image right? cast. <laughs> Remind me on that. Good good side. Side. So it's one less for Bill, and if we're missing one for Madden, which is probably the missing ballot. So that should work out the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the blank would have been from Allen. Yep. Orion's oh, helping with the math this late in the day. <laughs> uh, Governor Duval 27, Hoyt 34, Peter 17, Scott 736, Siegel 138, 13 write ins, 0 over, 22 blank. A little less for Scott, which is probably the missing ballot. Two more write ins, which probably account for. Tusky. Tusky. Yeah. Tusky. Anybody familiar with a Tusky? Works for me. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a good bet. Lieutenant Governor Audit Found Benning, 536, Diamond Stone, 26, Zuckerman, 383, nine write ins. No overloads, 33 under. So we have a couple more right Two right ins to move and the missing ballot, probably. Two blanks. Two blank right ins and the missing ballot. Yeah. Uh, State Treasurer, mm -hmm. page 520, P check 428. One right in, one over vote, 37 under votes. Right in. And it was just a blank. A blank. 
Take right and you go back to that side by side. Yes. We're missing. Just the one for page is missing. Right in went to blank. Yep. Uh, yep. Secretary of State Copeland Hansis, 427, page 510, three right ins, zero over 47 blank. Just one right in the move, it looks like. Yeah, SOS. They wrote down Cummins oh, and Kelly. Kelly. So they didn't write down Alessandro. Yeah. yeah. So never read it. Oh, they might not have been able to read yeah. that last name yeah. and decided to make a blank. I can't. Okay. <clears throat> There's one vote missing for page. And one vote missing for page mm -hmm. on the missing ballot. Auditor of Accounts, Hoffer 427, Rick Morton 499, zero right in, zero over vote 61 black. One miss Rick Morton. Attorney General, Clark 415, Tagliavia 523, zero right in, zero over 49 black. Missing the Tagliavia. State Senator, we had uh, Collimore 520, Ferguson 425, Remington 260, Taddeo 264, Proctor 382, Williams 540, three write ins, zero over votes, 567 blanks. Collimore, Proctor, and Williams, all missing one. Two write ins moved down. And two right ins move to blank. Louise Guzman. Louise Guzman, probably. <laughs> oh, he does live here, that's true. Hold on. What are, where are we, State Senate? <laughs> what they report? They reported just Laramie. So they left off Guzman and Bob Helm. Louise Guzman. Yeah. Bob Helm was a former rep, right? I know. Why did he leave him off? Yeah. That's what I did. Um, did, he pass a, fair even. did he pass away? No. He, no? no? No, I mean, that's, that's why I'm surprised he didn't have State rep. Uh, Canfield, 8 12, 31 write ins, 1 over vote, 143 blank. Miss, the missing was an overvote. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Probate judge. Anderson, 833, 12 write-ins. Uh, where am I? Zero over 142 blanks. It looks like five write-ins to move and a missing candidate yeah. vote. Duck. Blank, Abe Lincoln, Bo Johnson. I did yeah, him. him. <laughs> they did him. Is that good? You're seeing five? Not yet. Did we have five? Five. Yeah, we're five. Bo Johnson.
assistant judge. Bernard Senior 544, Walk 599, 11 no, 13 write in, no overvote, 818 blank. Assistant judge is a two though. State's Attorney, 692 for Sullivan, 35 right in, zero over, 260 under. So we have 14 more. The missing ballot is probably Sullivan. than anybody else is 14 for me. And a, yep. Do you want to go back to that? Or? No, let's go. Okay. See, they didn't put any of those. Seventy-seven, eleven write-ins, no overvotes, one hundred ninety-nine blank. So it's four moving four. Dudley do right. Dudley do right. There you go. There's four. Abe again. Abe Lincoln. I think they didn't do. Uh, where? What race are we in? Abe Lincoln, Sheriff. Dudley Do The blank. Bart Simpson. Or, oh, is Brett Simpson. Or they wrote Brett, but he's not recorded here. Yeah. So they so must have assumed. The <laughs> I mean, the Simpsons have been on for forty years. They can't get Bart. Right? <laughs> It'd be interesting to uh, work on that ballot. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, we'll see if we see him here. Bailiff. Uh, Bixby, 766. 14 write ins, no overvotes, 207 blank. The write ins and the overvotes cancel out. Is that yes? Brett. One, two, three, four. Five is able again. Is Judge Dredd a real person? No, Judge Dredd's not a real person. There's yeah, Judge Dredd's is seven. seven. Let's just look at the Brett Simpson. Look at Brett Simpson. Yeah, yep. yeah that guy loves Brett Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> they just kept that is so yeah. funny. Yeah. Brett. After Brett. the statewide. Brett M. Brett M. Simpson, yeah. too. <laughs> look at the Abe Lincoln just for fun while we're on our last sure. viewing. I think that was all one ballot, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And oh, and he did threw in an MLK, MLK Jr. Too? Yeah, wow. Good taste. <laughs> That's funny. It'd be nice if we could still have Honest Dave in all those <laughs> positions. So that was really a pretty positive result for Fairhaven also, aside from the um, counting one last ballot, which we will again work on with the clerk. There is always the possibility, right, of a double scan here. Yeah. Pretty rare, but I when we only have one difference, 
Um, that's as possible as anything else, I would say. So um, with that, I want to thank the, the guys from Clear Ballot. I want to thank Orca Television for being here today and broadcasting. Uh, thank Thomas for being our one member of the public, interested enough to come watch in person. You're welcome. Thank Jim and Chris for their last post-election audit. Um, <laughs> we'll see you all next year, or in two years. Thanks to our elections team, too. So you guys. I'm just going to ride with Dan to unload the ballots back over there. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. See you all. Hey.